Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the February Pechanga box. Uh, this is like, what, the fifth one we've done? Yeah, fourth or fifth. Uh, this Pechanga box is a food subscription company, and you get a different uh, country every month. And this month, it is Argentina. They always give you a sticker with the name of the country it on looks it. Awful. And he's really cute. Um, so when you get your pajanga box, you get a code on the inside uh, that you scan with your phone. Which, Picture the website. Which I will be doing uh, because I have I took this stuff out. Kevin has not seen it not at seen all. Nothing. Um I took it all out, took pictures, but then I put it back in the box. So um, I'm just gonna uh, Oh, you know what? You take it out. Lay it out. I think it's cute. You lay it out, and then I'll I'll be going to the website. Okay. okay. So take this looks like some kind of chocolate. My camera. Alpha Pampa. Yeah, you're not gonna probably know what any of this is. You're just gonna. This is a fun bond. We've tried those. <laughs> We've tried those before. No, I didn't want him to tell you what I they are. Just, I just want you I'm to take it out of the box. Okay. Pachanga box. Oh, you have to type in your code? Well, you have to unlock your phone. Oh, okay. Oh, it's going. Okay. Oh, this is, this is. February 2024 Pachanga Box, Ooh. Argentina. Those are wafers. Perfect. This month's Pachanga Box is featuring Argentina with a bit of a Valentine's Day theme. So get your dancing shoes on because we are dancing some tango and munching on Argentinian snacks. There are quite a bit of snacks featured this month. Mm -hmm. For a quick and easy search, try pressing the Control F keys and type in part of the name of the snack. It only works also, on your huh? It only works on your computer. On okay. your computer. Also, this list may include snacks that are not part of your box, depending on availability. Some Pachanga boxes have slightly different snack configurations, but don't worry. They all have the same amount of snacks. P.S. If you're loving this, share it on Instagram, tag us at the Pachanga Box. Um, it says note. The I, a bag of I know. I took that out. I was like, oh my gosh, we got a whole bag of <laughs> whole cookies. Bag. Um, it says uh, the expiration dates on these snacks may use a different date format than you may be using. Many snacks in Argentina use the day, month, year format, so please make a note of that when reading it. So yeah, a lot of people don't realize that in other countries, they don't put the month first. Um, Especially European month. Yeah. They usually put the day and then the month and the year. Right. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so I'm going to go, in, gonna go in, order. in the order that they have them because that will be easier for us to keep uh, keep track of. This one is the, this one. Alpha, Alpha, Pam, Papa, Pampa? Uh, Pampa. Alpha, Pampa. Um, it is... Heavy. Delicious milk caramel filled sandwich meats. Yeah, they feel wow. Covered in yummy white chocolate. Oh wow! It looks like a moon, like a moon pie. pie. It's a moon <laughs> That's pie. That's exactly what I was thinking. It's an Argentinian moon pie. Now sometimes we'll have some left over to where we can take a picture. Sometimes we won't. This I, one we will. Usually okay. I take a picture of whatever's left. Look. It's got like oh a yeah, chocolate or something in the middle. It says uh, milk caramel. Oh okay, milk caramel filled. Okay. Hmm. I like that flavor. Mm -hmm. There's a chocolate one too. Oh wow. Mhm. Mm Actually, I like that better than a moon bar. I do. <laughs> moon pies it's so, dry. It's softer and it's not as dry. Moon pies are so dry. It does have a similar texture, like in like how it's made. Mm -hmm. Like the the cookie or the cake or whatever on the top of it feel the same, but they're much more moist. And the filling in the middle is not marshmallow, which dries out. This is like a cream. Right. Pie. So mm. a moon pie. That's the good. thing about you could be opening the chocolate one. Is that what the moon pie. The thing about it is, is even so you've got these uh two like pieces of cake and but they're not as thick as like a snack cake and then in the middle you have marshmallow and even the marshmallow in a moon pie is like kind of dry 
It's so, very dried out. So if you ever heat them in the microwave, we've tried them heated before in the microwave, um, that's much better. But we've had some fresher moon pies too that weren't as bad, but most of the time it's honestly, dry. I just don't care to buy them at all. I know it's a classic snack, I know people are fond of them just like Twinkies because they've been around forever. But that I just, we don't you know, want Twinkies either. I don't. no, I don't want a Twinkie either. Yeah, this is so much better and mm -hmm. it's sweet, but it's not too sweet, it has a lot of moisture to it. Mm -hmm. So, this. They said if white chocolate isn't your thing, this is the dark chocolate version. Well, maybe dark chocolate, but it's not like bitter dark chocolate. It's just a darker chocolate. This. Mm -hmm. um, I like the white one better, mm -hmm. but I like the chocolate one a lot too. Mm -hmm. They're both really, really good. I would buy those anytime. And even though they're saying dark chocolate, it doesn't come across Yeah, it's not bitter at all. No, no, not at all. I would literally have those around all the time. Mm -hmm. That's really good. It's a very pleasing texture. There's even a little gritty, sugary mm -hmm. texture to yeah. it. Yeah, so that really nice. caramel in the center, that milk caramel. They're calling it caramel, but it's really not a sticky, thick caramel. It's more of a thick, like a... No, it's like a sugar texture. Yeah, it's almost like a, a truffle-like kind of texture. Mm -hmm. But it's very not quite nice. that thick. It's hard to describe. This says... Um, this is a cookie, isn't it? Yeah, this is Yes, a this is the classic. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we had milk. This is a different uh, company, though. I mean, we had uh, the white and we had dark chocolate. This one says, imagine pillowy alpha jour clouds cradling a sunshine swirl of dulce de leches. <laughs> so good, it'll make your eyes do the happy dance. One <laughs> bite and you'll be saying adios to ordinary treats. These are pure, chewy, can't stop, won't stop deliciousness with a chocolate cover. Yeah, they, so, they look similar, but... But mm -hmm. they're a different brand. They're, they, they're at least the packaging. I don't so see maybe the same one name. is like the a more of a name brand, and one of them is a store brand or something. I mm -hmm. don't know, you know, or just two different brands of the same thing. Like you have Girl Scout Thin Mint, and you have Great Value Thin Mint. Mm. That one sounds good. It's drier. It's drier. It has like a an alcohol kind of flavor. I'm just gonna say so the same too. Yeah. I kind of like that though. I, I don't mind the flavor, but I don't like that it's dry. I like the, yes, I, it tastes like they put alcohol in it. Mm -hmm. it Maybe that's what that Alforge? I don't know. Alfajor? <laughs> Alfajor. I like the flavor of that very, very much. Yeah, I like the flavor, I just don't like that it's dry. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but I do like the flavor of it quite so a bit. So out of those three, the white chocolate. I'm going for the white too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really, really nice. The Alpha Pompa. That's well, they're both Alpha have. Pompa. That's just the white one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. The next we have Bonabon. That's the big one. one. We have reviewed Bonabon. Bonabon. Bonabon before. And the this. Made by Farrah? And this one is Bonabon too. I'm thinking, I'm not for sure. I want to say we probably got them at that Mexican oh, grocery okay. store in Lexington. This is like a candy bar. Whereas that's just a single ball. This is like a If I could go off of this page without messing it up, I would look it up. But I know we've... Oh, what are you doing? Where do you want to go? To YouTube? YouTube. Yeah, to YouTube. You know what? I have no service in this kitchen. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I don't we think We need it. some... We need a mesh extender. Yeah, well... Pammy doesn't want to spend the money, though. She's cheap. You know why? Because <laughs> we've lived here... We've lived here since 2012, and it's really... I've always gotten internet in this kitchen. All of a sudden, one night it was here, and the next night it's gone. I might need so, some, maybe I can reset the router and my help, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, never, I, yeah, I, heard every I have no these. service here in this kitchen. Okay, but I know we've had these before. So uh, This is a, it just broke in half. It says, it this is a crunchy, it's big. crunchy, crunchy bar, bara, made with cereal and caramel, covered in delicious chocolate. Not sure if the flavor... Or a little heart on the wrapper, but I'm in love with these. Okay, so so okay, cereal. Okay, looks like a wafer cookie in the middle. Cereal, caramel, and chocolate. Oh yeah, it looks like a almost like a Kit Kat in the middle. That was two layers. Mm -hmm. Do that next. Mm. It kind of reminds you of a. 
crunch bar, but it's got the cookie thing going. And the cereal pieces are bigger. Yeah, they're much chunkier. Mm -hmm. Well, then it's not as chocolatey. It's more that cookie comes through, but you do get the flavor of the chocolate really good. Too. I love that. I do too. I really like that chocolate. It and you know what's really impressive is it's we're normally like the over the top sweet. Mm -hmm. That's not an over the top sweet candy bar, but it's really, really nice. It's not, but it reminds me of a candy bar we have here. Would it be a crackle like a, or a crackle? Yeah, but they still don't have cookies in the middle. It kind of reminds you of a mixture of a Twix and a uh, like a chunky bar, or one of those uh, crackle bars or something. A crackle, but it's yeah. kind of a mixture between that and Twix. But it doesn't yeah. have any caramel in it. Right. <laughs> There's really no comparison. It's completely different. <laughs> it's different. Look, I, but, I unrolled that, but it's sealed on both ends like a. Oh, that's nice. And then you you have to actually oh. open it. So that's nice. It's really uh, well sealed. I do like that though, and I do like the wafer. I do like the chocolate flavor. This is a Bonabon, so it's the same brand. But this one oh. was, yeah, this one like was a strawberry chocolate, yeah. is what it is. Strawberry chocolate. Mm, smell that. It smells, um, it smells really nice strawberry. Oh. And it's got a wafer around the whole thing. Mm. I like that. I don't have a picture for that. We ate it. Mm. Do you have a bit of a peanut flavor? Just a hair. Just a teeny tiny bit. There's something in there. I, I'm thinking it's that wafer. It's probably the wafer, but it comes mm -hmm. across as just a little bit of a peanut. Mm -hmm. It's nice too. That's nice. I like um, the bar better. I like the bar better. I like the uh, the original uh, Bonabon um, better. Um, that's still nice though. I like that. Uh, the, strawberry. the strawberry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, it's it's light, but it's it. But you know what? I mean, it's yeah. not as strong as like a Jolly Rancher or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's not that uh, syrupy sweet. No. But it's very nice strawberry. It kind of reminds you. It's going to sound bad, but I don't mean it bad. But it's, it tastes like a cheap strawberry ice cream. No. You, you know the little cups of strawberry ice cream? It's what it reminds okay. me of. I think, think about the flavor in your mouth. I think it tastes like the Bortman wafer strawberry. Yeah, it's that not a strong. strawberry flavor. It, it's a similar flavor, that. but it's not a strong. Mm -hmm. I agree. It, it reminds good. me of that too. Okay. These, right? These are Don Satur. Just know we pronounce everything wrong. Okay. We're not from Argentina. I'm not from Argentina. I've never been to Argentina. Let's switch it up a bit and jump into Savory oh. Town. These are salty crackers. That's They've been nice. a staple of Argentinian culinary culture for over 50 years. Mm. They pair perfectly with Yerba Mate, a delicious tea with its origins in Latin America that has recently grown in popularity. Uh, don't fret if you don't have some, though. Any nice tea will work. Okay, so these are just... Really? Salty crackers. Hmm. Salty crackers. They... It's different. Huh? Because it's not what we would consider a cracker. These are almost like a... Almost like a cookie. It's almost like a... Like a biscuit. Yeah. It actually tastes like a really thin, if you were to roll out a biscuit biscuit, really, really super uh -huh. thin and bake it. Yeah. That's what that tastes like. They used to sell these biscuits uh, at the store and they were, oh. they were round and they were dense. There was a elderly lady next door when back in the eighties and she used to always get those biscuits, but they were about this big. That's what they remind me of. Yeah, and we're not talking about the cookie biscuits. We're talking about American biscuits. American like, biscuits. Like biscuits and gravy. And, and that's like and the flavor, too. It, you oh, get it's that, just like a biscuit. Yeah, it, it's a biscuit flavor with a like flour biscuit. Um, and, and I don't get a lot of salt, either. I get a little bit. Of, that would be neat underneath some dipping those in gravy. <laughs> Um, can you imagine dipping that in some sausage gravy? I can see why they said it would go well with tea because, yeah. and I'm wondering if people don't dip it in tea. Maybe. I wouldn't want it in tea. I don't think it would be bad. Um, it's it's plain. It's it's not bad at all. It's just plain. Like, if we had those here, that would be something I would think you'd put butter on. Yeah, I would say, more like I said, dip it in them. Yeah, I would put butter on it. This is Cereal Fort Lady. Oh. I am not oh. sure if building a fort out of white chocolate cereal bars mm. will keep out your enemies, but it's 
Def definitely worth a tasty try. Okay, so this is white chocolate cereal bar. Yeah, it, it smells a little funny. It's strawberry. It smells like uh, one of those protein bars. Strawberry. You know, the, you know the protein bars like the Quest and mm -hmm. stuff like that? What, or Belt Bar, or, you know, one of, any of those like meal replacement protein bars. Mm -hmm. This isn't like one of our cereal bars. This tastes healthy. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm getting that aftertaste like a protein. Not healthy, just protein. Yeah. You know, that's what I wouldn't buy again. But I don't see anything. I don't think it's that bad. I do. I don't like that. Whatever that flavor is. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad, but it's just not for me. Um, I like the biscuits better. The strawberry's okay. Um, it's not It's not bad. I think the texture probably, it's a softer texture. It's a cereal bar, but it's not crispy cereal. It's a softer cereal. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I don't like mind milky it. kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't mind it. It's just not my favorite thing. Okay, now you have these. Doran's. Oh, by the way, before I forget, if you try the code TAMI, T-A-M-I, to save 10%, 10%, see if that still works, um, you might be able to save some money yeah. if you want to order these. I won't know anything about it. Yeah, we're not it. on the kickback program. I, just... No, I, I could have signed up for that, to be honest. I could have signed up for... Um, to, like, get a percentage. To earn whatever. money, but I did not. I told them, I said, I will gladly... We'll come on here and we'll we'll try the food and stuff like that, and I'll give the code. But but I'm not I've not signed up for anything. Yeah, else. we don't get anything out of them. Yeah. Yeah, these are little hearts. Okay. It yes. Says lemon. They're lemon hearts. Yeah, that's what they are. Will be will be hearts. So like little candies. Mm. They're the oh. heart candies, like a conversation heart. Mm. Oh. Both, huh? Oh. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> I like them though. I like conversation hearts though. I don't really get much lemon though. I like conversation hearts, but these are not. These They're harder. Do not they? taste like conversation. No, hearts. I don't think they taste much, much of anything. Literally, just sweet. I mean, they're not even all that sweet. Do you get anything out of it? Yeah, I do get lemon, but it tastes more like a lemon tea. I don't get hard either. It, it tastes more like a lemon tea than, or like a natural lemon than like, like Kevin said, Conversation Hearts. Conversation Hearts, they have a lemon and it actually tastes like lemon candy. This tastes more like lemon tea to me. Right. I don't mind it at all. I just don't think there's um, much going on. I don't know who's buying those though. I mean, like, do children like those? I know, it's not like it's a mint. It's not going to freshen your breath. Yeah, it's not like, a, you would think these little things would be something you carry around in your purse or something in your pocket or your car. To freshen, freshen your breath. breath but, they're not. But, I, but I can't imagine why would a kid want to eat that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, if they're not, it's not that it's bad. It's There's just, just this like, they're, yeah, it's not, it's like, what is the appeal of those? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, Except for the crunch, the, the texture is nice. They're, yeah, I just, there's just not much to it. Uh -uh. Um, it's interesting to try. Okay, now we, oh, this That's one. Just, this. Dues. Is a Doss. milk chocolate Doss. Doss. <laughs> a milk chocolate snack that comes with a little love poem or phrase inside. Okay. We probably won't be able to read it. That'll probably be in a different language. So you can make up a poem. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Make a poem up on um. Can that's you read it? Definitely in a different language. Oh, darn. And that's I'm good. sure we could do the Google Translate, but I don't have that on my phone. Kevin has that on his phone. That's which cute. Maybe, we we'll, maybe we'll look it up after. Put it we down don't in the have that in here. Something. Okay. That's what it looks like. So this is a milk chocolate snack. I'll never remember to look that up. No, we won't. <laughs> I'll remember that. Okay. Broken heart. So this is, it says they're very popular on Valentine's Day. Well, and that's why they gave us those hearts. Those mm -hmm. little, uh, those lemon hearts is because of Valentine's Day. <laughs> that is a different flavor. I'm looking at it like I can read anything. It's not a bad flavor, it's just a kind of an odd flavor. It doesn't taste like chocolate. Hmm. 
I mean, that's not something I would want all the time. I could handle eating them occasionally if somebody had them, but it wouldn't be something I'd be like, ooh, I gotta go buy me a box of those. There's something else that, that, that tastes like that, mm. but it's mm. not chocolate. No. And I know that helps you not a, a, even in the least bit. No, I don't know what the flavor is at all. That definitely does not taste anything like any chocolate I've ever had. It's almost, uh, almost leaves a floral after Yes, yeah, it does. Just slightly. It, like it a is. potpourri kind of thing. Yes, it is just slightly. Like a fruity, flowery kind of flavor. Kind of like if you ate a carnation. Something like that. Yeah. Just, <sighs> like a funeral. I don't like it. <sighs> yeah, I don't like it either. I'm like sure I said, I would eat it if somebody had it at their house because here, I would eat it, but I wouldn't actually. Yeah, yeah, like that's fine. different. I'm still glad we get to try it. I still oh, yeah. think it's fun. Um, it's these boxes cheese. are always lots of fun, and I've said it before. I wish that these subscription, I don't know that they had any food subscription boxes when the kids were little, but I've always said I think it would be so fun if you had kids to get one of these boxes and then sit around the table like this is going to be our Friday night family fun night. And you, sure, you could play games, whatever, but this could be part of the fun. Can mm -hmm. you imagine just going around and getting, letting the kids try new things and you're trying new things and you can all sit there and go, oh, that's awful. Or, hey, that's great. You know, it would be cool. Okay, this is a flow cereal. Let's switch gears and try an Argentina granola bar. This bar comes with almonds, sunflower seeds, and bits of strawberry, raspberry, and cherry. They're going to have some fruit in there. It's much chewier than our bars. Mm hmm. And it doesn't have the sweetness. It no, tastes, I do get the fruit flavor, but it's, no, but it's, but just it's fruit. not like the yeah. It's like the only thing giving it any sweetness is the fruit. Mm -hmm. There's no like additional. No, they didn't add like sweetness. syrups and all that stuff. Mm -mm. Like over here, they would pump that full of like corn syrup and stuff to make it sweet. <laughs> yes, this tastes very very natural. Mm -hmm. Um, it's I, good. I like it. I like it quite a bit. I mean, it's a little it's a little sticky. I mean, it's a little dry though, but I mainly taste blueberry in my piece. I agree. That's what it mostly is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a blueberry, but it is truly, it's very natural. I think a lot of people would like that here because it does taste same. natural. Um, I'm opening both of these. I don't know if they're the same. Right? This is Flynn yeah, Half. Apple flavored chewies. That looks uh, like a bazooka. That shaped like a bazooka. When the way the machine is. Yeah, the way the machine spit it out, it, it shaped like a bazooka bubblegum. But it's the it's the texture of like a um, now. <laughs> That's when you have to like let sit in your mouth and like warm up a bit. Was this supposed to be apple? Ap oh, you. I, I get apple, but it's a little bit of a. It's a funky apple. It's a funky apple. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those little brown apples you pick up all the ground. Yes, it's an old apple. <laughs> yeah. It's bruised. <laughs> you know, it, I think it doesn't have any sweetness to it. Mm -mm. No. It literally tastes like a bruised green apple. Mm -hmm. it's the texture not, is kind of like a Laffy Taffy. It's though. not terrible. Um, it's not something it's that terrible. I don't think kids here would want. No, it's pretty terrible. You think it's terrible? No, it's pretty bad. It, kids here would not want that. No. Because it's not sweet enough. Uh, but it's, like I said, fun to try. Okay, now There's we have... There's one of those too, I think. No, that's a different one. That's those different. are different. Manticall. Um, this is a very unique it's... bar made of pasta. But not the pasta you're thinking of. It's peanut-based pasta. Yeah, look, it's made by... Uh, Mondelez. Mondelez, yeah, same ones that do Oreo, Oreo. and all mm. kinds of things. This is a staple in Argentina. Oh. Oh. It is oh, yeah, peanut-based peanut. pasta. It also it is also flavored with some delicious cacao. Okay. It smells like peanuts. It smells like a, not a bit of honey. Mm. Well, kind of like a bit of honey. What's that little crunchy peanut butter snacks? A little hard, crunchy peanut butter candy. I don't know what they're called, but yeah. That's what this thing. smells like. With the stripes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking those little Mexican candies that I adore mm -hmm. with the rose on the top of it. They're round. The oh my gosh, they're like the 
best peanut. The outside of that reminds you of that. The inside's not like that, but the outside is. Those little discs you saw about it, it's like literally powder and they compressed it into this little disc. So when you bite into it, it just kind of dissolves in your mouth. That's nice. It's very peanutty. I like it. It tastes natural. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a natural peanut, but it has a little bit of sweetness to it. It's not, um, mm -hmm. it's okay. not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. Like they could, it wouldn't surprise me if they took that same thing and put like chocolate cover. Yeah, put it in chocolate or something. Right, but, they, but if they wanted to, they could, but they don't need to. Mm -hmm. I personally really like that. Oh, I, it's just not very sweet, but it's good. No, it's really nice. It's like a marzipan um, texture kind of. It's Yeah, it's drier. not like gritty, but yeah. Right. But it, it it's is drier, but it, I love that peanut flavor. Yeah, it's like literally peanut powder. Okay, then we have mint chocolate. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to... It says this, this is, is a hard candy yeah. with mint chocolate. This is a hard candy. Oh, we've had mint that look like this before. Oh, yeah. It looks like Christmas mint. Uh, you know what looks like this too? Those raspberry ones that they sell um, oh. everywhere. Um, I try to be nice with my crunching. It tastes just like those Christmas candies. You know, they have the, the chocolate-filled um, Christmas candies. They're filled with chocolate. That's exactly what it is. Oh, you're talking about the hard candy. Yeah, that's what, I mean, it's exactly same thing. But the mint ones, there's all different flavors of those. Yeah, now. this is the one with chocolate mint. That's that's it. Yeah. Usually you get a tub, though, and it has all different... Oh, yeah, it's a fruit lemon flavor. Lemon cinnamon and yeah. raspberry and orange and... This is the chocolate-filled... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, it is nice. It's a nice flavor. I like that. There's nothing good. wrong with that either. And I think that would freshen your breath a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get stuck in your teeth. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It's not overpowering. Nothing. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as strong as a breath mint, but it would kind of yeah. you know, freshen your freshen your breath. I think so. Up. I think if somebody smells your breath, they wouldn't mind that. Mm. Okay. This is just a silver package. For yeah. Me. Didn't know what it was. It says, oh, okay. Opera. These little orange flavored wafers have been around since 1905. They're like wafer cookies, but they don't have any cream in the middle. Oh, maybe they do. That looks like yeah, It looks like a wa just a wafer. Yeah. Okay, so it's an orange flavored wafer. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of them. And there's all another row. <laughs> they say Opera on them. They do have a cream, uh, some kind of something in the middle. It's very thin. Ooh, that's kind of funky. I don't like that. Tastes like cereal. That was good cereal. That tastes like um, a kid cereal. I don't like that. Do you not get that? Uh -huh. Um, a little bit like a Trix or something. Yeah, there's cereal. The, like a lemon, the, that lemony, orange, citrusy kind of flavor. Yeah, it's supposed to be orange, but it, to me it tastes like a kid's cereal. Uh, yeah. Like a... Like trip, a Fruit like, Loop. Like Fruit Loops or Trip. I think home. it tastes like Fruit Loops. I get that That's now. It. It's Fruit Loops. I get that now, but when I was first eating it, it was kind of funky. Probably because you had, had just had that mint. It could be. Cause That's why I tried to chew it on the other side. <laughs> but I'm, it, it tastes a lot like a Fruit Loop. It does aftertaste it especially. It's uh -huh. very Fruit Loopy. Yeah, I like that. I think it's nice. I still you didn't like it? I, I still wouldn't like it. Okay, now we have these little ones. These are... They look like gum. I remember gum used to come in these little tubes, like little yeah. things like this. Couldn't tell you what brand it was. Palitos de Selva. Yeah, I know. I just pictured that. Chewy Vanilla Candies. They come with a little drawing of an animal. And they tell you all about it. What? And Kevin just threw the paper, so we don't know what animal we got. What animals did we get? I got a bird. Oh. It looks like a toucan. I don't doubt. I don't think it is, but it's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's nice. That's really good. So that one's a strawberry one. 
Oh, the lynxes won't taste like cocaine. Mm. Yeah, it says vanilla. Well, they're white on one side and like this one was pink on the other side. I'm having a trouble with opening it. Yeah, it has a berry flavor, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Here we go. You think that one's different? No, Ooh. It's, it's red too. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. Yeah, that's nice. I would eat that. This one I would need to eat a bunch of them though. I don't know. Oh, it's like a little owl. It does look like an owl. He's so cute. Okay, <laughs> now we have the, are, the like umbrella. Those. Do you want to do this last, cause, or do you want to do that last because it's a sucker? Or do you want to go ahead? Ah, we can go on, go on, whatever. Whatever. I told myself into it. It doesn't tell what it is at all. It just says, unfortunately, this umbrella was a bit too small for the rain. But the cacao flavor was a great com consolation prize while getting drenched. Uh, so it's cacao flavor. That's all it says, though. It doesn't say it's a sucker. Are you sure it's a sucker? No, it might be chocolate. I don't know. It says cacao oh, flavor. Okay. That's all I know. It doesn't look like a sucker. It looks like a chocolate. It doesn't want to come out of the river. <laughs> The two kids are getting the, frustrated right about now. The only thing, <laughs> like like I said, I think this it would be fun problem. for family night. The only thing is, is like if you have like mom and dad and two kids, well, you only get two of these. So these would be easy to split. But like something like this. Yeah, one person's going to. Probably not. So mom and dad are probably going to have to let the kids have this one. This chocolate. I'm glad we didn't wait. How you get it off? But it's a bit. Oh, you, you got the stick. You got to bite it. Yeah, break it off. <laughs> I love when she fights with food. <laughs> That's a very plain chocolate. It's cheap. Yeah, it's not a bad chocolate. It's just very, very. It's almost cheap. Yeah. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. no really sweetness to it. It has a nice texture. I like the creamy kind of texture, but. The only thing I can imagine to do with that, if you bought a bunch of different colors, is like using them as decoration for a party. Mm -hmm. But actually. And then the kids could take it home and eat it. Yeah. You know, like party favorite. Like if you did a goodie bag, put this in a goodie bag. Or have cupcakes that are a spring thing. And yeah. You can stick the little you umbrellas can stick in the that cupcakes. in there, but not actually eat it. Like actually. Well, give it to your kids. They'll eat it. I would not eat it. Kids I mean, will eat it's, I mean it's, to me, it's not worth the calories. No. Um, the kids will eat anything. They don't care. Yeah, it's just not that <laughs> great. Okay. Kids don't care. Rhodesia. This was, I've seen this brand before. This is a. Uh, oh, right here. That, Terabusi. That this this cookie. That's the one that tastes like the alcohol. Yeah, that's the same brand. Um, Rhodesia, this lime flavored biscuit, oh, named okay. after the creator, Edelmiro Carlos Rhodesia, and in honor of his daughter Melba. Melba. I like that name, Rhodesia. Okay. The only Melba I know is Melba toast. We don't know anybody named Melba. That's what I'm saying. That's I, the only Melba I know. Have you ever met a Melba? No. It's the only Melba I know. It's Melba Toast. I've never met a Melba. That's mm -mm. not a name. Lime. So it's a way, it's a, it's a two layer wafer cookie is what it looks like with a filling and chocolate. Mmm. It has a nice lime though. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of like a Wartman cookie. Mm hmm I love the chocolate on the outside because mm -hmm. it adds a different texture mm -hmm. difference. Yeah, I like, um, that I like that one better than the sandwich. Uh, from the because they're from the same company. Yeah, the same company. Um, I actually still like the sandwich better because it has that alcohol flavor. Yeah. Um, but I really do like that lime. Yep, it's, it's lime. nice, refreshing. It's like a candy lime. Um. It's not like lime jello, but it's like a candy lime. It's just very nice. Mm. Um, and it does have those nice thin wafers. This is, um, is salad dicks for nettos. Um, this is cheese pizza flavored cookies. They look like throwing stars in Ninja Way. Oh, Ow. yeah. Cheese pizza flavored cookies. There's more in here. I like the flavor. I do. I don't like the texture. They're very, very dry. 
I wish they were bigger. A little thicker, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The flavor's great, though. The flavor tastes like pizza. Yeah, but while you're eating, they turn into this, like, really thick, pasty kind of texture. I could eat them, though. Oh, it's I could taking def too long to eat it. <laughs> no, I could definitely eat it. It's just... Oh, those are really good. Mm-hmm. I love that pizza flavor. Yeah, the pizza season they use is really nice. Yeah, it, it, it tastes like a jar of pizza sauce. See, I'm thinking, like, a pizza combos. Yeah, pizza has combos. Pizza combos kind of flavor. Yeah, those are really, really good. I Which would I eat those any time. That would be a good snack. Mm -hmm. um, you could also mix them with like that and some pretzels, or you could make your own mix. That's yeah. really nice. Now this looks like a mixture of all kinds of different. A whole bag of cookies. But it they, looks like different. This cookies. is the last thing. Yeah, this is the last thing on here. Sortito Diversion. This is the same company that made those crackers. The ones with the pizza crackers? Yeah. Oh, okay. Arcor. Arcor. Yeah, this okay. is Arcor as well. Uh, one of them looks like an Oreo on the front. Let's see, you got. It says if you like variety, Oreos. you're going to love these. These come with chocolate chip cookie, vanilla cookie, strawberry, and much more. So like, like who knows? I'm trying to that's grab at least the, two of these. It's on there. Okay, that's different. It's like a little sandy cookie, like a little um, caramel cookie. Diversion. R core. It has that on there. I think it's, I thought I see. So you don't see the one that looks like the Oreo? No. That's the closest thing they have. Oh, because there is one that looks like an Oreo on the front. And so we, I guess we didn't get one of those. No. Mm -mm, no. Because this has, yeah. this is a chocolate, but it has a hole in it. The one that looks like an Oreo does not have a hole in is it. Is that the same as? Yeah, That's the same, same as those. I don't, you look and see just to make sure I'm not missing anything, but I think I got them all. Full bag of things. Yeah, and they're they're all assorted like nope. this. Nope. You and just, you, you, it's just like, you just don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. There's one, there's only one sandwich cookie. No, there, there's none on there. See, there's one at the top of the bag. That looks just like an Oreo like yeah, that. Yeah, that chocolate sandwich cookie. Yeah, we the only chocolate one we got is these. Okay, you want to try that first? Oh, mm. it's hard. Much harder than I was thinking. Can we get one more reach one? That is a hard cookie. Mm -hmm. It creates a diversion because you bite into this and everybody goes, <laughs> that's the diversion. They go rob a bank. <laughs> yeah, that's the diversion because that is a hard cookie. It is a hard cookie. It doesn't have much flavor either. Mm -mm. I mean, we've said that Chips Ahoy were hard. These are much, much, much harder. Oh, these are some of the hardest cookies I've mm -hmm. ever had. Yeah, they're pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is very hard. Doesn't have okay. much flavor either. This one? Sure. Chocolate chip? Chocolate chip. That's a little bit better. These are, um, I think, for kids. I was gonna say, these taste like cookies you'd have in the cabinet for your kids to eat on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're showing the chocolate one from the bottom. Oh, okay. Mark that. Oh, okay. They still didn't have that Oreo uh -uh. there. No, there's one that's got pink on it. I didn't see that one here. Pink? Yeah, it's the, it's the chocolate ones, but these are all white. This is white. Oh, that's even whiter than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to eat another one, though, because they're not no. very good. <laughs> that's all of them, though. Okay. That's all that's in here. Okay. Let's try one of these. These look like a yeah. like a caramel cookie or something. One of these. You think they're different? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like the bag, not to be insulting, this is like the bag you go buy at the Dollar Tree mm -hmm. for your kids to snack on when you're taking a trip or driving yeah. in a car or something. Yeah, that's totally what this is. That These one, are shut up snacks. Here's a snack shut up. <laughs> yeah. Um, Keeps them busy in the back seat. That is a plainer, like it's not shortbread because it doesn't have the butteriness. No. It honestly, to me, has a very, very, very light lemon flavor. 
Maybe. I mean, I, who knows? Okay, now this is a sandwich <laughs> cookie. This has some white cream in the middle. Ooh, wow. Mmm. Crunchiest cookies ever. Mm -hmm. The sandwich is a little sweeter though. I think it's just because of the cream. See, even that to me comes lemon. across as a, like a lemon. Uh huh. I got a very, very light lemon flavor. You know what? And maybe one of these does have lemon and it was all in the same bag. Maybe. Could be. Or maybe there's that. But to me, that little bit of a lemon flavor is in this one too. Yep, it's, it's in this one and in that other yep. one. That's the best one is the crunchy. Um, Sandwich if I lived in Argentina, I would not be buying these cookies. No. These are really, I mean, not unless, like I said, they're really cheap and then you're just buying them for your kids. You're buy, yeah, them. you're not gonna, surely to goodness, you're not buying them for you because mm. I wouldn't want to eat that. No, um, because they had other things that were better. Yes, like those moon pie things. Yeah, the little, those little cake things are really good. Uh, these pizza things were excellent. Was that your, so what's your biggest the bon surprise? Bon. What was your biggest surprise that you liked more than you thought you would when you, when you saw it? Um, I think probably those, uh, I didn't know the what those were, to be these, honest. Yeah. I didn't know what was going to be in there That's probably all. the best things here is the sandwiches. I think so, too. So, I would say those came as the biggest surprise because I've never had anything like this that's shaped like this and like the, a moon pie right. like this, but that's so much better than a moon pie. Mm -hmm. um, so, to me, that was a big surprise and I really, really enjoyed it. One of the things I really liked was these little biscuits, even though they're kind of plain. Mm -hmm. I, I could sit there and just keep eating them. And you know what? I know I don't think you like this like as, as much, much as me, little, but but bar. I like this because it was it's very natural. It's just it's like you get the berry and then you get the oat, and it's just a natural flavor. Oh, and this little red and white um, yeah, these, cream candy. These that, are those good. are nice. Yeah. So, the peanut thing, do you like that? Oh, I love the peanut thing. Well, where was that paper? Oh, I really, uh, really like that. I like the that. cereal bar. Was it this thing? No, that's, that's the chocolate thing. It was really good. It's over there. Oh, this yeah. one. Yeah, that was good. That... Does it show chocolate? No, it doesn't. That is Maybe probably... No, I'm still going to pick uh, this. I, yeah, this, that's my favorite. This the white is my chocolate. favorite. This is my favorite. But that peanut thing is my second. This is my second one. What is oh this is chocolate covered? Bread. I like that too. Yeah. So there. <laughs> now that I've had those cookies, though, the aftertaste is actually really nice. Of these, <laughs> yeah. They're just hard. they're very hard. Um. So. And the little green apple things were just weird. Once again, there were some uh, things that we didn't really like. We weren't wild about, for, but for the most part, these are really fun to try. There was nothing in here that was like, that's disgusting. No, and and two, I noticed too, um, that there hasn't been anything in these boxes that I can remember at least, that would like really burn your mouth. Like spicy? Right, so these would, that's what I'm saying, they would be safe for the family to try because it is. Family fresh, fresh, family friendly. I think because safe snacks. yeah, they're safe snacks to where it's not going to to burn your mouth or it's it you know so it's sometimes you're afraid if you have a, a like if you're really sensitive to spicy food or something mm -hmm. then you probably steer clear of boxes like this. But I cannot recall so any, far we haven't had any of these pachanga boxes. Even the one we, we had from like Mexico and stuff like that. It seemed like yeah. a couple of them had some chili flavor. Right, but candy, not but like they weren't like hot. hot. Exactly. Yeah. So not like something that would bother you. Mm. So I think that's a good thing. Yeah. I think I would call this a very kid-friendly food subscription box yep. and a lot of fun. Yeah, so if you are interested, like I said, you can use Tammy, T-A-M-I, you have to spell it correctly, T-A-M-I for 10% off. We won't know about it, but we greatly appreciate Pachanga Box for sending us yeah. this because yeah, it's yeah, a lot are, of fun. We always have fun and they do a different uh, country every month. Every so. single month. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Okay, we remember to do Google Translate, so we're gonna translate the love poem for you. It says, you, you want to read it? Very good. It says, you tempt me and you reject me. You offer me and you deny me. You say you love me so much and your heart doesn't give. Well, how's that a love poem? I know, that's kind of that's like... That's a rejection poem. I know, that's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, you did me wrong. And now, I'm using Google Translate. I can take a picture of it too.
Oh my gosh. Yes, that's what it, yeah. that, that is, here's Google Translate, hold on. Uh, yeah. That is what it says. Hmm. 